Hey everyone, I've missed you guys so much. Like it's only been two weeks, but I feel like it's been such a long time. I hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome or welcome back to this space for those newbies over here. Thank you so much for coming over to this space. And I do hope you subscribe and you hang around for a bit more because today's video is actually going to be very intense so for my new subscribers for my old subscribers please do stick around because today i'm going to be talking about starting my healing journey or just how i'm going through my healing journey Woo! i have a lot to say about it but anyway thank you so much for coming over i had taken a two-week break um just because one july was such an intense like emotional and mental um period for me so i just didn't have the energy to create content and if i did i know that i wouldn't have shown up for you guys as much as i want to and also i just wanted to take a bit of a break i think i'll be doing like a media break and also like do my end year christmas break because it was actually really ref refreshing i can't talk it was actually really refreshing um i feel more motivated i feel more um excited to film fresh content for you guys to continue putting out content for you guys and yeah i do hope you enjoy this video i'm clearly rambling on too much so let's just get straight into it so for me healing basically means um clearing out the things that weigh you down one it means for me reconnecting back to yourself like there's this um i think he's a psychologist he was talking about the difference between healing and trauma how trauma is caused by an event that leads you to disconnect from yourself and then healing is actually like learning how to reconnect to yourself and i feel like there's a lot of recollect reconnecting <laughs> you guys forgive me it's been two weeks but there's a lot of reconnecting that i want to do with myself <sighs> i feel like there's so much baggage that i'm carrying like emotional and mental baggage and i can feel it being like a blockage from the things that i want to achieve even in this channel i feel like the reason why i can't put out very like intimate content or very um you know a deep look into my life type of content very free content is because there's just so much that i feel like is blocking me from being open with you guys and i know that stems a lot from past traumas that i've experienced and before like when i was a child in high school like trauma for me meant something really huge and drastic happening in your life that causes a lot of damage like either it can be experiencing a civil war or watching someone being murdered like something very intense like that but i actually realized that trauma can be anything anything that causes you to disconnect from yourself that causes you to change your behavior and how you move along in this world so i feel like i've been through so much emotional trauma i definitely say that a lot of emotional trauma and some that i didn't even realize was emotional trauma because i feel like again i had thought of this word trauma being something so big but again i've come to realize that yeah i've actually changed in certain ways and one of my friends actually noticed so let me back up a bit for you guys i've been through wow this is a bit scary for me because it's me tapping into my vulnerability but i feel like it's really important for me to share with you guys some stuff that i've dealt with because at the end of the day it might help you guys and i feel like it will help us connect because i feel like as much as i'm staring at the camera i'm staring at you guys like that's how you're seeing me from your screens and it's a friendship like youtube 
um, social media it's supposed to be a network a friendship and it's hard to connect with someone if they are not really ready to show parts of themselves and I'm also you know learning to be gentle with myself and just be like whatever I'm not comfortable sharing I won't share but whatever I'm comfortable sharing I'll share and whatever I'm uncomfortable about I'll just take the necessary steps to slowly but surely deal with it and then when I'm ready I'll share it with you guys so I've been through a lot of emotional trauma from narcissistic abuse from being betrayed, from being disrespected, from being gaslighted, being invalidated. And now I'm actually, especially 2020, I've actually realized how much those things have actually affected me. Like, it's really changed me. And these are things that have mainly happened in familial and friendship type of relationships. And, wow it's so heavy to deal with like i know now i'm just talking and stuff but the moments especially in july when i was sitting with all this stuff i was just like what this is just so intense this is just a lot and i just felt like i don't want to unpack this like it reminded me of in primary school so in the school that i was in we used to get holiday homework I hated holiday homework and so the holiday homework will come about so on the last day of school closing day on the last day of the term you'll carry all your books at home and then I think like two weeks or a week later your parents go and pick up your report form you know talk to the teachers find out how you're performing and then they'll come back with an envelope with like instructions on the actual homework so this is the textbook you use this is how much you're supposed to do and all that stuff and I remember every time getting that envelope, it was a brown envelope. Oh my God. <laughs> These memories. It was a brown envelope and I just used to be like, oh, here we go again. So it was a, like a typed list of all the holiday homework that you had to do. So for all the subjects, maths, social studies, science, all that. And I remember I used to look at this list and I'm just like, god like it's so much like i already feel so overwhelmed looking at this list and i've not even started looking at the homework or doing the homework so that's how it felt like seeing all these things within myself and i was just like man like can this trauma be postponed or <laughs> can i just put this somewhere and deal with it later but no i actually need to deal with it now and it's not that i have to deal with it but i choose to deal with it because i know that it's going to help me be a better person um and not just for myself for other people around me and so when i was telling you about my friend so one of my really good friends who we were catching up we we're just chatting this was before covid so we were together we were catching up chatting and then she literally just turned to me and she was like you don't tell me stuff anymore like something's changed about you like she just stand mid -sen sentence of what she was saying and she was like something has changed about you and i was like yeah by the way you're you're right <laughs> i'm not even going to deny it and so i just told her about these experiences that i had particularly in friendships that made me so distrustful that made me really coil back into my shell because I felt like I can't really trust people and I felt like I wasn't safe. So even with her, who I had always been safe with, I felt like, you know what, I'm not going to say anything to anyone. I don't trust anyone. So I'll just keep all my life updates to myself, good or bad. And she noticed that and we talked about it. And I think when she noticed it, that's when I was also like, wow, like, for my friend to notice this also like it's a big issue so it's been a struggle and i've really been trying to find ways through which i can unpack this trauma from listening to certain like podcasts on spirituality and also giving myself space to feel and i think it's important to do that because from experiencing all that 
trauma that emotional trauma and for example not being able to express myself because i feel like i'll be invalidated i'll be gaslighted xyz will happen or information that i give will be used against me um i had to learn how to be open with myself before i can even try to be open with other people and it's been such a journey it's been such a huge struggle for me <laughs> i won't even deny that it's been such a struggle but it feels really good to just give myself space to feel and to tell myself in my mind and just train my subconscious and let it know you're safe like you can feel what you're feeling so if you want to cry if you're feeling angry just feel angry like feel your range of emotions in a healthy way it's okay like you're in a safe space and giving myself that safe space and also um you know other people in my support system coming up and also just saying and even by not asking them but them just saying out of their own um choosing like hey baby if you want to chat feel free um or if you feel like you want to talk about something feel free to let me know like that on its own is such an affirmation and it's it's like an invitation to say like hey this is a safe space you can actually express yourself and why I was saying it's affected my YouTube journey is because I mean of course I know not everyone has to share certain parts of themselves on YouTube I don't I can if I want to stick to beautifully I can this is just something I want to do and this is why I actually started the inner glow series last year because I felt like these are things I want to talk about this is something I want to share with you guys and so because of that lack of a sense of safe space to express myself or be seen or be heard I felt like I felt held back from expressing myself to you guys because my subconscious is still like mm, ain't safe <laughs> you can't you know you can't trust people out there you know be scared <laughs> um put your guard on and stuff like that and as much as I think that's still important to some extent um you can't open yourself to everyone and you can't open everything about yourself to everyone but when i feel like i want to i want to start fostering that affirmation in my mind like you know this is a safe space i'm safe and for me that's been a way of healing and reconnecting with myself and also helping me to reconnect with others like my friend um because now i'm slowly becoming more trustworthy and so our relationship is growing and it's getting better so yeah that is it for this video it's just like an intro to sharing with you guys my healing journey i'll definitely be doing like separate videos on each of the topics that i want to talk about because healing on its own it's a big word so there are certain aspects that i'm healing and i'm working on healing in my life and i will definitely love to know if you guys are going through the same journey so be sure to share with me in the comment section down below and i also wanted to um you know share with you guys other things that i've been doing in my healing journey i'm sure i'll share this with you guys in upcoming videos but like i said i've been listening to like a lot of um spiritual teachings on healing especially from a spiritual teacher called teal swan she is deep <laughs> she's really deep um talking like talking to the people in my support system who i trust meditation though i've really been struggling because every time i meditate like when i try six stillness a billion thoughts just come into my mind and i'm just like ah this is too much then i run away so i don't meditate for a while but i'm trying to learn how to meditate and just see emotions as separate from myself and also just um what else what else listening to calming music um reducing my use of social media um because sometimes i see people being trolled or being put down or 
going through things that maybe I went through offline, like with actual people, but it's happening to them online and that triggers me and I'm just like, oh gosh, <laughs> this is too much for me to handle right now. So yeah, just being gentle with myself and taking things slow as far as being online, just consuming the content that I feel like is helping me in a certain way. And if I feel triggered by something to just recognize like, I'm feeling triggered <laughs> and to just back away from that and then give myself space to actually like work through that feeling of being triggered and stuff like that so yeah i can't wait to share with you guys more on my healing journey i also wanted to share with you guys another piece of material or someone else who's been really an amazing resource as far as this healing journey is concerned and her name is Dorina online she's known as Monversation and she's actually an intuitive healer and she has such amazing like soul feeling IGTVs I'm definitely going to share with you guys her handle in the description box down below and she actually is running a healing program in the month of september so she's doing like 30 days of healing and it looks like such an amazing program so i thought i'd also share that with you guys for anyone who is planning to you know dive deeper into their healing journey start their healing journey um you can definitely check out the program i'm going to link that information in the description box as well and i definitely love to know your feedback because at the end of the day like i said this is a connection this is like a relationship so i want to hear from you guys like how did you or how are you dealing with like your traumas from the past um how are you dealing with any emotional or mental blockages that you're having in your life so please do share with me i really want to hear what you guys have to say and i can definitely learn a thing or two from you guys so yeah be sure to hit me up and i look forward to seeing you guys in my next video and i'm so happy to be back like i feel like i'm back in my element here in front of the camera and i can't wait to see you guys soon please do stay safe i hope you guys are staying well I know the year is getting tough, tougher sometimes for some people and I totally understand that. So I hope you guys are also taking time to give back to yourself and just be gentle with yourself. So I can't wait to see you guys in my next video.